kind of just side eye everything that has to do with hair care because I'm just like, I'm a curly girl. You're telling me this works for me. Surprise! Thought you'd seen the last of me. Uh, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute and a half. The last video I did was just like a life update and I told y'all I was like I don't know when the next time I'm gonna upload or what my schedule is gonna look like because I knew I was starting like a bunch of changes in my life and my daily routine so I just needed to take some time off I haven't really been on social media like that I'm back better than ever I'm blonde I've been having quite the summer this video that I've been wanting to film since pretty much May <laughs> it's about um, a company called function of beauty and I ordered a shampoo and conditioner from them. You can see they're heavily used. So I got a lot to say about these. I got a coupon code from Whaley. Um, I can post it here just so you guys can take advantage of it. Cause, but I got 20% off, I believe. But let me just jump into and describe what Function of Beauty is if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Basically, it's personalized hair care. So you can order a shampoo and a conditioner and now I believe they have a leave-in. But you can basically tailor your shampoo and conditioner and this leave-in product to your hair type and your hair needs. So this company has done one of those like send you in the mail subscription type things for your hair which I thought was pretty cool because I feel like when I'm running low on hair product I'm really lazy and I will wait until I pretty much run out of it <laughs> before I go buy some but this just makes it easy because you can set up the subscription on whether you want it sent to you monthly um, every two months every three months every six months stuff like that so you can just change the frequency in which you receive the product so why don't we go through and build the profile together just so you guys know what the process is like I'm going to attempt to be tech savvy ah my laptop's on 18 percent i'm gonna attempt to screen record this i don't know what i'm doing i am now screen recording wow this is amazing <laughs> wow i'm screen recording that i can't spell yikes we are going to start the quiz and i'm just going to go through it the same way that i went through it initially to order it just so you guys can see and ah oh, blah 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 <laughs> I don't want you guys to see my text messages. Oh my gosh, how do I... Uh, this is so bad! I went through the building of a profile, so they give you a couple options. So straight, wavy, curly, coily. I consider my hair curly, but I'm looking at this curly, like, thing, picture, imagery, image that they have for curly. I'm like... My hair don't look like that so I selected coily um, and then hair structure fine medium or coarse it's not the texture of your hair because I feel like my hair is like a coarser texture but like my actual hair strands are probably more in the medium range like I don't feel like I have super thick individual hair strands which is what this is referring to so I picked medium scalp moisture I picked dry and continue then it has you select your five hair goals so for my hair goals I wanted to see I don't like that it says fix split ends because that's a myth you can't fix your split ends I picked strengthen I hit um, curl definition I hit reduce brassiness because I knew that I would be going blonde and my hair was already pre lightened when I ordered this um, I hit hydrate and I hit lengthen so my five hair goals were to hydrate lengthen strengthen curl define and to reduce brassiness then it said pick a scent and I was like I love peaches peaches was the best reviewed and honestly 10 out of 10 would recommend peaches um, but they do have some fun fragrances that weren't here when I ordered it and I picked a medium fragrance strength I kind of was leaning towards strong but medium is pretty strong like I have washed my hair with this straightened my hair and well my hair will still smell like peaches three days later and this is after I've taken a flat iron to it so the fragrance strength is pretty strong for medium and then you get to put your name so my name's already there um it's gonna be in lowercase I kind of wanted a capital letter for some reason I don't know it just felt right but it's going to be just like this and they give you a bunch of different colors that you can choose and if you're not into dyes like you want like a dye free 
um, product you can also do that I went ahead and did the mint for my conditioner because I thought it was cute and the shampoo by default because I got the reduced brassiness has to be purple because the purple dye is what's going to cancel out the red orangey tones in your hair um, then you have a couple of different options these guys I got two 16 ounces because I felt like it was the most bang for my buck that's the pricing and then your frequency you can you get free shipping if you do the reoccurring so um, I'm pretty sure I set it up every six months because I know myself and I don't anticipate myself needing more shampoo within the next six months especially because I have other products that I'm using but you can cancel it at any time uh, so for the purpose of me getting free shipping I just did this every six months that was the ordering process it's really fun it's really cute it didn't take that long to ship though like I got it within a week or maybe a little over a week from when I ordered it so the goods and the bads for the goods I really like the smell again I told you guys that washed my hair straightened and blow-dried it and three days later it still smelled like peaches so if you are into good smelling hair like strong scents the medium <laughs> the medium should be enough for you. you literally smell like a fresh peach you probably would smell like a peach for five days if you use the strong one the scent was definitely probably the best part about this in terms of like how it made my hair feel it has a good amount of slip when i realized that it had a good amount of slip i was like this is suspicious so i went and looked at the ingredients and they use silicones they use silicones but they use uh water soluble silicone so they don't use those bad silicones that stick to your hair and create a barrier and block moisture from getting in they use the silicones that are going to be water soluble and that break down when you wash your hair so it's not going to stick that being said i didn't have or i couldn't find like a full ingredient list that told me every single thing that was in here that's the only thing that like made me a little bit wary i did find a list of things that they say they don't use and i can post that list of stuff that they don't use here and it's also cruelty free which is really nice so if you're into cruelty free products that's also a plus for the focus that i wanted i wanted it to be super hydrating um so that i can retain length you know my hair is, tends to be pretty dry my scalp tends to be pretty dry so i wanted to focus on hydration especially because my hair is color treated now i would say my hair was averagely hydrated i wouldn't say that it gave me extra hydration but it didn't strip my hair which is what i was afraid of happening i kind of just side eye everything that has to do with hair care because i'm just like i'm a curly girl you're telling me this works for me so I had to side eye the whole thing. It did keep my hair at an average level of hydration, so it wasn't drying my hair out, so that was a plus. I have high porosity hair normally. My hair obviously is a little bit more porous, or I guess a lot more porous now that I've um, dyed it. What that means, me having high porosity, it's harder for my hair to get moisture anyway because like it's hard for it to penetrate my hair strap. So if you have like normal porosity hair, that then this would probably be a lot more hydrating for you. For me personally, it just, it kept it hydrated, but like at an average level. So I guess the pro would be that it's not stripping, um, but I wouldn't necessarily call it like the most hydrating on my hair type. The toning is definitely going to be a con for me and only because like I feel like this bottle is super purple so I expected it to be like dangerously purple to where like if you leave it on your hair too long your hair is going to turn lavender. That did not happen to me and my hair is probably like a level 8 at the ends. Like my ends are pretty light. They're light enough to where like a toning shampoo should help them and it didn't. <laughs> I do have some clips of before and after when I washed my hair and the before as you can see is really brassy especially like at the top and like in the mids of my hair. Um, that's just because that par portion of my hair wasn't, it was virgin when there was bleach applied to it so it just didn't lift to the same level as my ends which were not virgin but as you can see in the after there really isn't that much change in tonality um even at my ends like i feel like my ends are light enough to where a toning shampoo should be able to kind of cancel out some of that brassiness i mean if you have really 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 blonde hair like level 10 you should probably be fine with toning with this and getting some of the yellow out but 
just for me where I have some areas of my hair that do need to be lifted a little bit further um, to cancel out brassiness like it wasn't strong enough for me like I just needed a toning shampoo that had a little bit more kick to it because it's not an artificial purple dye that's probably why it wasn't strong enough I probably need something a little less natural to actually get these orangey tones out of my hair my overall consensus it's cute it's really cute like I enjoyed the process I think it's really cute that it has my name on it I like using it um, am I willing to pay $50 for it every few months probably not um, just because again I don't think it was like a super revolutionary product I, I do think it's really convenient I think it's fun that you can customize like the scents and the colors and you really do get to build a profile based off of your needs but it really didn't wow me so I feel like the products that I have already been using would probably suffice and they are cheaper so probably won't order again just because I don't want to pay $50 for my shampoo and conditioner especially if it's not hitting all the check boxes that I need it to hit ie canceling out the brassiness in my hair so I hope this was helpful for anyone who's thinking about trying this um, and if you are still thinking about trying it I would definitely use the coupon code to save some coin. Just another quick update I'm putting myself on an upload schedule so I will keep you guys posted through Twitter or Instagram which my links are down below you can follow me there but I'll keep you updated there as to when I'll be posting so that if I'm gone for a month or two or two and a half <laughs> you guys aren't like where are you you can be like okay like I know she's busy doing X Y and Z or you'll know when to expect a video but thanks so much for watching this and I'll see you in my next video bye